I'm Robert Emerson, fighting out of Irvine, California. I'm Savant Young. I'm fighting out of Pasadena, California, representing the Fight Academy of Pasadena and the Body Shop Fitness team. Um, I'm a longer, rangier guy. I think I got better hands, better kicks. Um, I don't. I think I'm going to pose a lot bigger of a problem than he is going to be for me. You know, so I've done a lot of hard work. I'm in shape. Um, it's been a year since I fought, so I'm excited just to get back in there, and get my hands dirty again. My last fight was my layoff fight, and I came back and got a win. And this is his layoff fight, so I'm sure he's coming to. Uh, you know, try to get a W. So, you know, I'm gonna try to foil that plan. I don't think he uh, has as much potential in the sport as I do. Uh, I think it's a great fight. I think the fight's mine to win. I've done all the hard work, so I'm here just to, uh, you know, to fight, uh, put on a good show for the fans and go home with a win. My, my nickname is the Black Superman. Uh, it came about maybe back in 2006. Uh, Shoney Carter actually gave me my nickname. Uh, he was commentating a fight that I fought in and. Uh, you know, there was no action going on for about two minutes. The crowd started booing, and I just jumped through the air and, and hit this kid with a Superman punch. And, uh, you know, he gave me my name. So it kind of stuck. I didn't name myself the Black Superman, but um, I'm going to run with it if everybody keep asking me about it. Oh, yeah. Savant Young, 14 and 8, fighting out of Pasadena, California. He has his own gym now, but he's a longtime product of Antonio McKee's Body Shop, another gym that you're quite familiar with, Javier. You spent some time at the Body Shop. Can you break down what the typical fighter is from Antonio McKee's gym and basically what, what Savant Young is as a mixed martial artist? Well, the typical Body Shop fighter is going to be very well conditioned, very hard nosed, and is going to know how to wrestle. Um, Savant Young is an out, I think he's a pretty outstanding uh, fighter. Um, it just kind of depends on his motivation. Does he want to fight? I think he could beat one of the best fighters in the world. It's just he's got so many other things going on. He's a very, very tricky technical striker. He's tough to take down, and uh, he's got a very competent jiu-jitsu game. We had a chat with Savant Young earlier today, and he said he wanted to give one more go of this. Does Savant Young still have a UFC-type run in his repertoire. Can he be a relevant fighter that gets the call to the octagon? If he gets a guillotine here on Rob Emerson, why not? And on top of that, even though he'd be outsized in the UFC's lightweight division, I would hate to think of him next to a monster like Ben Henderson or something like that. At 145 pounds, there are guys that he can hit that guillotine. There are guys that he can beat. He's tough, he's scrappy, not gonna be a champion, not gonna contend with Jose Aldo or anything like that, but not a guy that you'd wanna face. A dangerous striker, and like I said, he, he has some really deceiving uh, setups for his strikes. That if you're not paying attention, it flights out. I think you nailed it, Hob, in terms of the commitment, the focus. When Savant Young spent two years away from mixed martial arts, he was like 180 pounds, and people were begging him, Get back in the gym, you're talented, and just didn't do it. Wasn't that interested in making a go at it, and now he's starting to refocus, rededicate, and realize as he closes in on his later 30s that this is probably the time to do it. But nonetheless, a very, as Javi mentioned, tricky and talented guy. And very unusual body type. He's very, very thick, very powerful guy. Robert Emerson, 11 wins, 10 losses, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. He is a guy that you have actually fought against, Javi Vasquez and he, he really jumped into the deep end when he started fighting the mixed martial arts. His first pro fight was with then champion, who was outside of the promotion, but then UFC champion, Jens Pulver. When you had a chance to fight Rob Emerson, it, it was a fight that went the distance. How much did you actually know about him when you took, the, took to the ring? Well, I, I knew quite a bit about him. I did my research, but I tell you what, I look at his record, his record was 11 and 10. That record doesn't do justice to how talented Robert Emerson is. He's fought a who's who of lightweight for 10 years. Yeah, he, he, he's fought a lot of good guys. He's extremely difficult to take down. He's got tremendous hips and very physically strong uh, for a lightweight or even a, a featherweight as well. We've been talking a lot about testing prospects. Who should Francisco Rivera fix? Who should, what kind of fighter should Bubba Jenkins be in there with? When you're talking about the kind of guys that you want to build towards, Rob Emerson's the example. If you can deal with a Rob Emerson, if you can finish a Rob Emerson, if you can dominate a Rob Emerson, you're probably good enough to go tangle in the UFC and take on really good lightweights. He's tough to take down. We mentioned off the top his fundamentals. That's what makes it for me. That's what makes Rob Emerson a tough out for people. Wait, he can jab and he can leg kick really hard. Hard to finish. We, we, extremely tough to finish. It's hard to submit. He's hard to position on. He's hard to knock out.
And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with this next attraction. Three rounds at a catch weight, 149 pounds. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist standing five feet, six inches tall. His weight, 149 and one quarter pounds. A veteran inside the cage, he brings 14 victories and eight defeats. Fighting out of Pasadena, California, here is the Black Superman, Savon Young. And next, his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai and Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, he weighed in 149 pounds even. Also a cage veteran, he has 11 victories, 10 defeats, and one no contest. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, here is the Saint, Rob Emerson. <laughs> Referee in charge, Marcos Rosales. A groin shot here to Savant Young will stop this contest early here for a brief moment as he tries to recover. It was a kick from Rob Emerson that caught him low. We were just talking about praise for Rob Emerson's low kicks. Unfortunately for that one, goes a little errant and gives us an early pause. Good manners on Rob Emerson, though, as Marcus Rosales approached him. He even said, I'm sorry. Here we go, back underway. Lightweights in the cage here at Tachi Palace Fights 12. Angles! Catchweight contest. Should correct that. Rob Emerson showed some ambition to possibly move down to Angles 145 pounds going forward. Weight class, I don't think, is the issue for Rob Emerson. Overall, I think Rob Emerson is one of those guys who's really good but not great. And so I'm not sure he'll be a like, contender at 145, but again, he's going to be a tough out for anyone. Yeah, he's, a, he's a really true test to, to, for any prospect uh, that fights him. Like I said, he's just a very stylistically tough fight, tough standing, good leg kicks, hard to take down, good submission defense, just a nightmare to fight. I mean, he's been finished once in his career. It was by Kurt Pellegrino, and that was in a fight where he was actually doing quite well early on against Pellegrino for exactly the reasons we're talking about. And he knocked out Manvel Gambirian in just seconds at UFC 87 in Minneapolis. Rob Emerson, when he hits you, he hits you hard, but here now he's clinched up, and Savant Young is looking for the takedown. Emerson just biding his time, really relaxed, working that underhook, staying upright. Now Emerson is really a pro up against the fence right here. He does a really good job of, of not giving you his hips. He does, has a really good underhook. And, and look, look how look smoothly he just turns Savant Young around. Land the knee, turn the hips, and now you're in offensive position. He, he didn't force it at all. I'm telling you, he's a real pro. Notice the inside control with his left hand. That way Savant Young can't throw that punch. The other hand is tied up with the, with the overhook, so he's 100% controlling the clinch right there. We looked at the record of Rob Emerson, 11 and 10. Usually that's a journeyman type record. It's not fair to call Rob Emerson a journeyman. I think it might be fair to call him a journeyman, but he's one of the creme de la creme journeymen. Sure. I mean, if you're going to, if you're going to have one of those have experience, will travel vibes, I mean, Rob Emerson, you could do, you could do a whole lot worse if you're trying to find a tough opponent for back, any fighter. Back in space here, Rob Emerson wanted to keep this fight on the feet. Savant Young not able to drag it to the floor yet. We'll see if that uh, changes in the latter part of this round. Coming up on the halfway point of round number one here, I'm TJ DeSantis along with Javier Vasquez, Jordan Breen. Tachi Powell's Fights 12, second coming, streaming live on SureDog.com. Savant Young is kind of standing in front of him. He should be using lateral movement, moving his head, and using his tricky setups to start landing strikes on Emerson. Emerson's just kind of stalking him down, staying in front, keeping his hands up, uh, good balance, and, and, and just throwing those leg kicks to set everything else up. Savon comes in hard with a couple of punches. Emerson uh, answers with the right hand. And see, this is one of the things that hurts Rob Emerson. Right now, he's moving forward, but he's still not being that aggressive. 
and he's standing flat-footed. Think of guys like Quinton Jackson, DJ Penn, guys who have that flat-footed boxing stance and move forward. It's a trade-off. You're sacrificing defensive potential to check those kicks for the chance to sit down your punch and deliver big power. So if Emerson doesn't throw, he's giving Savant Young an opportunity. One of Emerson's things is if he is he if he's afraid of the takedown, he kind of shuts down a lot. He, he tends to really slow down his uh, his, uh, his his offensive output, and uh, that, that's something that that really hasn't changed over the years. He's just so afraid to go, not afraid to go to the ground, but he he'd rather not go to the ground. So he kind of shuts down and waits on the defense, waits on uh, on the uh, on the, uh, on the uh, opponent's strikes, and, and it kind of hurts him in certain fights. Savant Young looking for that takedown, but Emerson able to save it off, get in the clinch, and now puts Savant back into the corner. When I, when I fought Robert Emerson, I controlled the pace because he was so afraid of the takedown that he completely shut down. So all of a sudden, I looked like I knew how to strike. 70 seconds remain here in round number one. Catchaway contest between Savant Young and Robert Emerson. I mean, if you're watching this round and you're asking, hey, who's landed better, cleaner strikes? Who's imposed a game plan? Who shut the other guy's offense down? It's Robert Emerson, but it doesn't really seem like, oh yeah, he's totally winning this round. And that's what we're talking about. This is one of those rounds. This is, this is one of those rounds too. I mean, it's five minutes and, and we're definitely, we're just starting to tell the story. Exactly. Yeah, Emerson just seems to do enough to win. He doesn't really pull the trigger and try to put guys away, even though he has all the ability in the world to do it. Interesting. Uh, Stoppage there to restart. I mean, both guys were circling on and off the cage. Well, Marcus Rosales is now one and two on calls it up for Mark time. <laughs> An ongoing tally by Jordan Green cage side here. 20 seconds remain here in round number one. Get out, get free again. Yeah, Emerson, I'm telling you, is extremely difficult to take down. Emerson going for a late takedown of his own here, trying to trip and trap that leg. I think he's trying to trying to steal this round, but Savant Young is actually pretty tough to take down himself. He trains with Antonio McKee, and there's a bunch of savage wrestlers in that room, and uh, you, you tend to get pretty good at defending takedowns. Action right here in front of us to close out round oh, number one with a takedown by Savant Young. Beautiful takedown. There we go. Savant might have got one in after the bell, but was throwing it before the bell. Big, decent break there. Savant Young, Rob Emerson, Definitely just getting underway. Emerson is a very tough guy to put away. He's only been finished once, as Jordan mentioned. Uh, where's the where's the momentum right now? Savant did end with a good takedown and a punch there, but how do you score that round, Javi Vasquez? I'm gonna reach into my notebook and I'm gonna pull a 10-10 round out for from the Jordan. <laughs> get Greens. off the fence. Get off the fence. I, I think Emerson uh, landed the cleaner strikes. He controlled most of the action. Uh, landed some good knees, landed some good leg kicks. And, and he had the uh, power strikes. Yeah, the, the power strikes. ones were and, probably Savant Young. And he was controlling the octagon. Took the center of the ring and was backing Savant Young up most of the round. And that's what we're talking about with Rob Emerson. He just doesn't put a clear distance between him and his opponent. I mean, this wasn't easy for Savant Young. Even if you think he won the round, you're not like, oh, well, he clearly cleaned How, up. That's what I'm saying. His record is so deceiving. How many fights has Robert Emerson could have done one or two different things that he could have ended up winning the fight? His record could be just as easily, you know, whatever, 20 and one or whatever. You he know could have done a couple things in your fight, maybe got a win there as well. But, but he didn't, and I won. He didn't. <laughs> that's right. Marcus Rosales getting ready to start off these fighters here. Round number two, a catchweight contest between Savant Young and UFC veteran Robert Emerson. I'm real interested to see if Savant Young is going to use the momentum that he ended with and walk forward and try to do the same kind of thing. Try to use the body lock, trip, takedown, and, uh, and work from the top position. When you fought Robert Emerson, the fight didn't hit the floor. How did you set up takedowns to get the fight to the mat? I was trying everything I could. I, I didn't think his takedown defense was going to be that good. I was trying to... I was trying to use the strike to pick up a single leg or double leg. He's got a really strong hip, so hitting a double leg on Robert Emerson, unless he's you know, trying to rip your head off with strikes, is very difficult. Emerson's definitely getting a lot more aggressive now and really trying to throw heavy, heavy strikes. Yep, he's starting to open up in the second round. It was interesting, Savant just kind of planted his feet there in the corner and waited for Robert to come forward, and when he did, he clinched up. It's interesting, I, th I think Savant Young was maybe trying to oh, bait him in a spinning back elbow. That landed very nice by Savant Young. That was extra tricky because Savant Young controlled his wrist, made it look like he was going to go for an Ipan Suonagi or something like that, and turned around with a, an elbow instead. Very, very tricky little setup. Looked like a judo throw, boom, strike to the face. Savant still trying to work for this fight to, to get it to the floor. You see Robert Emerson hand fighting inside, trying to make sure that he's at least trying to get an underhook. Oh, there, there it was again. again. That one hurt. Very nice. Right on the side of the, the eye of Robert Emerson's Emerson Young. reacted, too. He looks annoyed that he got hit with it twice. 
Yeah, I, 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 so I'm telling you, Savant Young has some real tricky little little things that he does, just like that spinning elbow. He and I was wondering, was he going to go back to the well and do it again? And he did, and the second time landed flush along the Drew right even side. Drew more water the second time. Rob Everson fires a one-two. Savant able to stay away from it. Emerson should be pressing the action. He's not really doing that much. He's kind of taking his time. He takes one step forward in one-two. I mean, that's easy for Savant to get away from. It's going to be easy for him to get away from that all night. Savant goes to the body, but this is. Going back to the leg kick. Emerson had a good success in the first round. You saw him follow up with a Superman punch there. Savant Young looks a little bit off balance when he throws his strikes. He's he should take a little bit of heat off of him and, and, and maintain his balance better than throwing him 100% and losing balance. Approaching the halfway mark of round number two, Tachi Palace fights 12. Again, TJ DeSantis along with Jordan Breen. Javier Showtime Vasquez, cage side here at the Tachi Palace in Lemoore. Front leg, front leg. Knee to the body from Rob Emerson. And Savant grimaced a couple times after those knees, both in the midsection. I couldn't tell if he grimaced or looked annoyed that he's stuck in the clinch. Tie up that arm! Right knee, right knee. Here comes that right knee, right knee. Here comes right that spinning knee, elbow. Here comes that spinning elbow. Tie up that inside arm. Knees only, knees Emerson's corner yeah, fanatical yeah. about defending the spinning elbow at this knees, point in time. Knees, Rob! Inside knees! Stay on the knees! Hurry now, hurry! Emerson's doing a good job at opening up the left side of Savant Young's body to try to get knees to the liver, but he's just not active enough, plain and simple. If, if Rob Emerson understands how good his takedown defense is and how hard he hits, he would open up more. It's been a really long time that he's been fighting. His confidence should be at a point where he shouldn't be afraid to do it. Plus, he's not, his ground game is very confident. So he's hard to hold down. He's got a good guard. He shouldn't, has nothing to be afraid of. He should open up and go. Rob Emerson has landed uh, uh, quite a few strikes here in this middle period to Savant Young's body. Let's see if that slows down Savant. I'm not sure what to extrapolate from it, but Savant Young really making faces in there. When Rob Emerson isn't even the body, kind of like rolled his eyes. When Rob Emerson tried to fire back there, he kind of smirked and smiled. I'm not sure it's confidence or he's slowing, but Savant Young definitely is thinking in there against Rob Emerson. Chatting with Robert Emerson, he said that he's gone basically on a personal journey the last few months, getting sober and, and really focusing on mixed martial arts and showing tonight. Emerson, every every punch Emerson throws at Savant Young that misses, Savant Young drops his hands. If he throws a punch and keeps coming, pa pauses and follows up, he'll hit him. Put the pressure on him, Rob. That's something Robert has done in the past. He hurts guys and doesn't follow up immediately. See, he drops his hands. He, he should throw two punches. There's a right hand. Stop and then and then and uh, step in again. Throw two punches, okay, Robert, stop, two, three, three. throw told, pause on the, on the rhythm, Robert, and jump back in. Emerson just backed yes, Savant Young up to the fence, Robert. threw one nice, punch, Robert. and let him come right back. Gets yeah, him on the fence, yeah. two, three punches, let, lets him off the hook. Again. Coming up on the closing 10 seconds here of round number two, Tachi Palace fights 12. Rob Emerson taking on Savant Young. Another kick there from Rob Emerson. Go again! Nice, They're gonna take down ten. You, you better, unless you're Bubba Jenkins or something like that, you better forget about trying to hit a straight double leg on, on Robert Emerson. You have the best chance of getting to a body lock. Option one, option two is a single leg, and my distant option three is a double leg. A very solid round for Robert Emerson. If you're in the corner of Savant Young, you're Anth Antonio McKee. What are you telling Savant Young here to try to do something in this third round? Well, as Javi mentioned, I'm not sure how fruitful it's gonna be to try to take him down. So more of this, more trickiness. Because, more trickery. Because with Robert Emerson, you can win the fight that way. One or two strikes in a round, big flashy ones, demonstrable ones, they can win you the fight if the guy you're facing doesn't want to do anything other than jab and leg kick and doesn't want to commit to power shots. And so far, Rob Emerson hasn't done a whole lot of that. Savant Young could steal this fight. Well, if you give him the first yes. round, uh, I first don't round think close. Th th this first is, round this was is close. This is a Robert Emerson fight. We're talking about how close yeah. it is, and we're simply debating. Well, he controlled a lot of that, but didn't get a whole lot of offense. Yeah, you, so you could easily give him the first. Emerson won the second. Now it comes down to a third again. Another to typical make, Rob Emerson fight. To make another cross score comparison, if time of possession mattered for something in MMA, <laughs> Rob Emerson might be king. Yes. He's, got, he's got ball control, but not a whole lot of touchdowns. Round number three underway between Rob Emerson and Savant Young. 
the corner of Emerson imploring that if he throws combinations, he's gonna knock him out. He just needs to come forward. He needs to throw more than two punches because definitely he is landing with those first two punches in, in combinations. Nice, come again, watch yourself. Inside Savant Young Inside is also only throwing one punch at a time, one kick at a time. He's got to put something together as well. Back foot, Rob. Inside leg kick. Inside leg kick. Savant Young with the kick to the lead leg. Nice with the right hand. Switch step, Superman punch. I told you he's looking for it. Only that. Don't give him momentum, Rob. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Rob. Backing let's him up against go. the cage. Don't go to the fence with him, Rob. He can throw that inside leg kick and it'll land all day again. long. There's a Combos, lot of weight piling on Savant Young's front leg. He's desperate, Rob. He's looking for these. He's desperate. Keep the Combos pressure races, on. You see him breathing, man. He Who wants this fight more? I, I don't know. He's just trying to Both guys are kind of doing the same Rob. thing. Combos and bring him back to the this center. third period is starting them with basically almost a feeling out process. Pressure, Rob. Neither guy really throwing a lot, both throwing kicks. Nice Emerson comes forward nice there. And again, just one, one or two punches, but again, they're landing. Three shots all there you day, go. Rob. Smart, smart. Three shots all day, Rob. Come on now. Hey, combos, Rob. Hit. Yes, nice. Another kick Back by Emerson. To the Back to the center. If Emerson nice. decides to use the leg kick as his primary offensive weapon, he's got to throw a lot more of them to soften up that leg, get Savant Young standing in front of him, and then use combinations to the head and body, which I have not seen one body shot at all, one liver kick at all from Robert Emerson. And uh, Savant Young is basically standing in front of him. He's only looking for the big punch, Robert. He knows he's losing the round. Bring the heat, Robert, more than one shot. Savant Young looking to throw and land that big Superman punch. He's looking for one big shot. The team Oyama corner just screaming for Robert Beautiful Emerson to throw power punches and leg kicks at this point in time. Back to the center, in and out. You see Savant smiling. It's, it, it, he is making interesting faces. I don't know if it's frustration or what exactly it is, but Savant, it almost looks like Savant doesn't really know what to do here. Yeah, I'm telling you, Robert Emerson is a very tough style matchup. It's, it's hard to put the guy away, so it's like, well, what do you do? What do you do with the guy? I felt the same way when I fought him. It's like, man, what do I do? Like, what is my easiest path to victory? Very frustrating fighter. Frustrating for everybody. I'm sure it's frustrating for Rob Emerson. He isn't coming out on the, you know, the, the large end of the stick a bit more. I'm sure it's frustrating for his team. He doesn't pull the trigger. And he's definitely frustrating to fight against. And as an onlooker, it's frustrating to see a guy who has skill and ability and doesn't want to attack with it. Jordan Breen frustrated commentating this fight. He's trying to say he feels like screaming at him too. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's nice to watch clean, crisp technique. But when a guy's in the driver's seat, you just want to see more of yeah. Two minutes remain here in the final period between Robert Emerson and Savant Young. The reason, the reason we hold on and he's starting to be more active now, but it would sting for Rob Emerson, who's been in the driver's seat for most of this fight, to lose simply because he didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Savon is definitely eating a lot of leg kicks here. Emerson is really like finding, the finding the home with the, the lead left kick. There's a right kick. Oh, if, he, if he throws a head kick, he's going to catch him because, because Savant Young, those leg kicks are hurting and he's dropping his hands. Good small right hand by Rob Emerson in there. Landed a little baby hook as Savant Young waited in and just nearly landed another. Savant kind of went all in on that takedown, trying to work a single leg here. Oh, and look at that. Beautiful. Not not going to get the, the full switch there, but did enough to turn him around. And now Rob Emerson might uh -oh. take him out. Uh oh. Emerson on top, out here. here. Plenty of time to work. 75 seconds remains in this fight. You should focus on control because Avant Young is really good at escaping these positions. His body's so thick, he's got great explosion. Now, it seems like he's working to get to his back, which is definitely a way that Emerson can close the deal. Oh, he's looking at, oh boy. He should reset, forget the try. there he goes, and start attacking his throw. This could be it right here, boys. I don't like the look in Savant Young's eyes. The choke's still not underneath he his looks chin. Physically the chin. Yeah, I don't like the look in his eyes, even though it's not under his chin. If Emerson, Emerson should remount right here and strike. Switches Bites the body triangle, now. adding the he's, pressure to the He's got the choke on the wrong side. There it is. Can't tell. There it is, wow, it is. Rob Emerson, victorious in impressive fashion tonight, stopping Savant Young. He said he's dedicated himself. He got sober, really focusing on mixed martial arts, has plans to move down to 145 pounds. We talk about his record. We even said the word journeyman tonight. Rob Everson, though, still showing that he has a lot left in the tank. And, and competition, I, I think he's going to be pretty good if he can keep performances like this going forward. R Rob Emerson's biggest hindrance, I think, is pulling the trigger. 
plain and simple. He's got the he's got the takedown chops. He's got the striking chops. He's not even tired. He's got the conditioning chops. He understands submission defense. He understands submissions. He just choked out Savant Young, who's a very good fighter. It's all a matter of confidence with him and 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 his willingness to just pull the trigger for years. When I trained with him, pull the trigger. The choke isn't set under the throat right here. He's got the left hand. He's actually on the what we call the weak side of the choke. But like I said, Savant Young looked tired, and I told you, I did not like the look in his eyes when, 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 when Emerson started attacking the choke here. He wasn't really trying to actively escape the position. It was just a matter of time before Emerson closed the deal. Rob Emerson, 30 years of age. He's been fighting for 10 years. His career looks tonight like it's far from over. We are going to go up to Joe Martinez and get an official time on the submission. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 4 minutes, 29 seconds. Round number 3, submission by rear naked choke. Your winner, Rob the Saint Emerson. Rob Emerson victorious by submission. Let's go up to Jordan Breen. He is in the cage, going to get a word with the Saint to talk about his impressive submission win over Savant Young here at Tachi Palace Fights 12 in Lemoore, California. Well, pictures being taken. Jordan will be uh, with Rob Emerson momentarily. I'm, to just, I'm blown away by Jordan. I'm here, I'm here with the winner, Rob Emerson. Rob, not quite a featherweight debut, 149 pounds. First of all, talk about something you talked about a lot pre-fight, cleaning up your lifestyle and trying to get down below the lightweight division. Um, well, not until recently, the, uh, the lower weight class has had a lot of respect in the sport. You know, lightweight was the lowest you can go, and uh, I've always been a small lightweight. I walk around 165, finding guys that cut from 185, 190, and doing good against them, you know, but um, I want to compete at the lower weight classes. I think I possess a lot of power. This is my first fight. I haven't fought in over a year. Felt a little rusty, but it's awesome to be back here and I'm performing for you guys tonight. Thank you guys for your support. The thing that people look at with your game is you're tough, you're talented, you're well-rounded, but often not aggressive. Your corner implores you to be cutthroat, to get after him in the third round. Is that something that you think is true about you and talk about the importance of your aggression in the final round? Yeah, 100%. You guys saw how it's kind of like uh, a little bit lackluster the first couple of rounds, kind of afraid to pick it up. And uh, I saw he was kind of breathing kind of heavy going into the third, and I know I had a full tank. I just... I haven't fought in over a year. I was kind of nervous. You know, I didn't want to come in here and get knocked out in front of you guys. So I was fighting kind of safe. He's a powerful guy. You guys saw when he was hitting me, he has a lot of power. So I had to respect that. But I think, uh, think for my coaches and uh, my, the lifestyle changes I've made in my life, I'm uh, looking to do some damage here in this new 145 pound division. When people think of Rob Emerson, they think, oh, he's a tough acid test for anyone at 155. What do you think people need to know about Rob Emerson now as a potential featherweight? Um, you know, I just changed my lifestyle. I made all the little tweaks that I needed to take to uh, take this thing seriously and uh, take it to the next level. I've always had the talent. I've always had the coaches and surrounded by the right group of guys. Now it's uh, my own life choices I made and uh, it's nothing but up here. I, I feel like my better fights and my best performances still lay ahead. Rob, congratulations.